back, you see uh, Yara doing the same thing that you saw Malavik sort of doing, uh, sort of holding the sides of her head and and um, experiencing something. <sighs> Yara! No, 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 no. Uh, don't stem it. <laughs> Yara, I'll help you once I get through. Hold on. Speaking of which, I attempt to... Oh. Rosh talk. Yes. Um, um, I'm going to need you to please make a saving throw for me. I'm just double checking. I believe this is a. It was a will save. Yep, a will save. Yes. Twenty-seven. Oh, ho, ho. Arash talk. You are able to move forward, <sighs> or do something else. One action, I am essentially. Come on, Lizard. Come on, Lizard. Come on, come on. I see. 5, 10, 15, 20. Uh, if it's one movement, I would only be able to get there. Okay. Well, you have... Yes, you have... What's your speed? It's 25. Mm, okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see here. Why is my... I did attempt to blank my mind, as noted. Yes. Uh, that is something that Karun suggested to you, and uh, <laughs> that you... Uh, Wasn't that my arcana roll? It was, yes. But also uh, Karun was very good at it. <laughs> Exceptionally good at it. No no <laughs> thoughts had empty. Yep. <laughs> um, you uh, begin to rush across the other side, um, as, let's see here, I'm gonna need, uh, both of you to make another will save. Uh, I'm going to use the hero point. Okay. 16. 13. I didn't trust a critical fail. Okay. Uh, yeah, your first one would have been a critical fail. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Yara. Um, the visions continue to trouble you. You feel more of these shameful memories overwhelm you. Your mind is absolutely unforgiving. Relentless. It is every shameful memory that you can think of bombarding you. It's agony. Arash talk. What is your most shameful memory? Mm. Back with my clan. I wasn't like the others. Everyone was, uh, for lack of a better term, charismatic. Uh, they were with the old ways. They knew how to use sorceries and commune with the ancestors, and I was unable. I was uh, broken in their eyes. Uh, so I pursued knowledge. Uh, they did not approve, and I was slowly cast out uh, from my friends and family. It was... Was there a specific uh, moment? Uh, the moment my fine. grandmother said to leave. She was the one who raised me. I was told never to return. 
I haven't seen them since. And it was all my own fault. I could have farmed or did something that didn't need the old ways. And I betrayed them. I made my own choice. But I'm not of their clan anymore, despite my own claims. Rashtaka is grabbing the sides of his head and muttering to himself. Malavik, Karun, you see this. Um, Sorry, Grandmother. You also take 15 mental damage, Rashtaka. Yara, you also, oh my god, you also take 15 mental damage. Oof. Come on, lizard. Come on, lizard. I'm sorry I failed you. I would like to take an action, if possible. What would you like to do, Malavak? I think I hear... Karun saying something about clearing your mind. As I'm drifting back in from the consistent barrage of memories, it only angers me. I would like to rage, run towards Yara and pick her up and bring her back. I have one minute of it now. When I'm rage, I don't think of anything but the objective that's in front of me. Do you have any sort of mechanical resistance to anything? Well, I can, there's a lot of things I can't do when I'm raging. So from the description of it, as it reads, it seems as though I can only, I can't think uh, logically, I can only make certain actions. And I cannot stop raging until this fully up. It is a mental tag on it. So, this is a frenzy that lasts for one minute until there are no enemies you can perceive or until you fall unconscious, whichever comes first. You can't voluntarily stop raging while you are raging. You can't use actions with the concentrate trait unless they are also have the rage trait. You can seek while raging. Let me see. I'd like to give you this, but I don't know if I can. If not, that's fine. Seek is an exploration, right? No. Mm -hmm. It's just a regular skill-based action. Seek, seek, seek. Where is it? Well, seek is labeled as, if it's the action, is labeled as a concentrate. But if they say I can, you can do it in rage, I guess that's right. the one. Basic actions. Okay. Scan an area for signs of creatures and objects using perception. Hmm. Okay. Here's what I'll do. Um, there's nothing here in rage that says that you get any kind of mechanical advantage to do what you're trying to do. Um, also in this special case, there, uh, you're essentially only getting one action. Um, as my cat is doing something she probably shouldn't be doing. Uh, empty. I hear things crash in the background. Um, uh, I would say that you can, you can do this, but it's not going to be as straightforward as you want it to be. You will have to still make rolls um, to avoid this. Rage doesn't give you an out for anything. Uh, Very correct. For, for, <clears throat> for all things mental. Mm. It's not like um, 
resistance in D and D. Five E. Yeah. Um. I think I am thinking for the better, but I believe I'm still under the effects of whatever happened and trying to clear my mind. So I will not go through with the plan. Okay. I get what you're trying to do. It's just I, if we if no we no get no, I expected roles. I expected all that, but I, I also, well, is that, is that her HP? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm going to do it. Okay. Um, I will add you back to the turn order here. Um, we're going to put you kind of in the beginning here. So I will need to rage and then do perception check. Uh, you can rage free. I'm going to say this is, it's a mechanic kind of for this hallway. Um, but, uh, you can say that your rage isn't going to cost you the action. So you can, uh, spend an action here, uh, doing a thing, but rage doesn't, won't count towards it. (laughs) I'll gather all my rage inside, and then I'll seek a target. I'll pinpoint Yara, uh, and I'm trying to locate her through the red. Yara, <laughs> they're moving to one of Uh, just roll some initiative for me, please, Malavik. Perception based. All right. Um, mm, okay. Um, go ahead. And what is the action that you would like to do? Is this what you're trying to do? You're just trying to rush towards Yara, grab her, and bring her out? Yes. Okay. A um, few things are going to happen. I'm going to make you do a few rolls for this. This is not going to be easy. Um <clears throat> First, I'm going to need um, a uh, will save. Yeah, we roll that. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Never mind. Oh no! Old Tony's not with me. Oh no, <laughs> buddy. I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Malavik. It's how the cookie crumbles. You essentially take a step into the uh, tunnel, uh, the the hallway again, uh, and immediately start hearing like these whispers of doubt and uh, these feelings uh, begin to uh, overwhelm you. You will unfortunately take a buttload of damage here. Uh, do you have six points of temporary at least? Yeah. Um. Okay. Um this Wow, I finally rolled bad on one of those. Uh 12 damage. So 6 damage, okay. Mhm. 6 because of your temporary HP. Basically minus. Okay. <laughs> And I'll uh, start crawling on the ground and pick myself back up. And what other rolls do I need to make? Oh, I have to wait to the next round. Okay. Uh, Yara, it is your turn. I need you to make a will save. I will use my only hero point. Critical success for a 29. Yara, you see Malavik focused on you uh, as you like blearily see through this illusion for a moment. You realize that these things that you are seeing, these memories are 
memories. I can't hurt just you not anymore. Now. Just not now. I will um <sighs> gather myself. <sighs> My face is tear-stained. I am weak and weary. And I will take this opportunity to, to scramble to my feet. And wipe my eye. And I will... I will rush forward as quickly as I can. Collapsing to my knees when I get close to Karun. We need to... We need to get our dog out of there! Get him out now! <laughs> get him out! Karun was right about to do a whole bit about... Well, well, well! <laughs> you know... Look who's uh, needing healing now! <laughs> but, uh... It's a little dark, so... You think I could, um... You think I could lasso a Rostock? Can I lasso the lizard? Uh... So, sure. Um... I will say, uh... Go ahead and... Uh... Make some kind of... Uh... Crafting check? No, I'm sorry, <laughs> not on that one. <laughs> you cannot craft a little lizard lizard leash. Yeah, but you still got a <laughs> you still got a lasso, and it's not easy. Um, That's true. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna say you can go ahead and make a probably just gonna be a dex check, straight up dex. You just want me to roll dexterity? Yep. Right. Uh, oh no. <laughs> you try to throw out this rope to, to grab Orashtok. Um and, and Yara, as you're rushing out, down this hallway, you're looking, you see Malavik like focused on you, like rushing to try and grab you, and then he stops and starts to like hold his own head and he starts <laughs> mumbling and 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 he's stuck in this his own memory, his own shameful memory, as you rush out. Um, Malavik, I need a will save. Malavik, darling! You are safe! Uh, unfortunately, um, Malavik, uh, actually, 20. Um, I'll give you a slight bonus because you're raging, and we say you just barely make that with a 20. It is not real, Malavik! But he is. I'll, uh... Sorry. Can I see your talk in front of me? He's directly in front of me. He is directly in front of you, yes. I will roughly grab him by the collar Athletics and check. toss him. Okay. What kind of check? Athletics. Scruffing the lizard. <laughs> 22. Okay. Uh, you drag Orashtok past the statues. <laughs> each making your way to the end of this hallway. You can feel this illusion fall away. Your memories <sighs> are your own. <sighs> they always have been. Ross, shock. <sighs> yes. Are you alright? <sighs> I will be. This is a terrible smell. Indeed it is. <sighs> Malavik, are you okay? <sighs> no, but physically, I'm alright. 
My white hair, you would see, is stained red with the blood that's been coming from my ears. You, Yara, come here. <laughs> and I reach out and... Over the next four rounds, you will eventually gain a total of 16 HP back. I suggest we rest here. Uh, At least for 10 minutes. I need to get my bearings. I just no. slump up to the wall. Indeed. Karun is fine, uh, and through all of this, I'm just kind of looking around, making sure everyone is not bleeding too heavily, and I look over the danger horns and I say, look, you know, if you're having some kind of emotional uh, reaction, I have something for this, if you would like. Malavik is the name. No, it's, it's called the Minor Numbing Tonic. Malavik is my name. It is disrespectful for you not to call me that. My name is Karun. Yes, and that's what I call you. I do not call you Knife Ears. Now do I? Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Hello? Hello? <laughs> As you begin to catch your breath, on the far side of the hallway, you see Arcelia stumbling past the water, calling out to you. Arcelia, wait! <clears throat> wait! Do not cross that threshold yet! <sighs> what? Why Only is one she of us will be successful. Here? Use Karun. Before you move forward, you need to focus all of your energy on clearing your mind. Do you understand me? Think of nothing. Yara. Emptiness. Emptiness before you walk past those statues. That is not important. <sighs> Empty. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Before, wait before you do anything. She's, they're going to go through the same problems as we had. It's not just as easy as walking from one point to another. There are different areas of disturbances. Some stronger than others. Should we, um, should we take a page out of Karun's book then and try and, I don't know, fashion some ropes together and throw it so she ties it to herself? To drag her through. If need be. This wise. I'll uh, help her. Uh, once she's tied. I will take out the rope that I have left over. Do you have enough to cover all of this between a couple of these? Yes, that will be enough. Right. Begin to fashion them together. Um. I will supervise while I drink the minor numbing tonic. I am looking around with my spear in hand, trying to see what could have caused my companion's pain. I just see these statues. There are many of these statues lining the sides of this hallway, various sizes, and of various um, ancestries and heritages. You see creatures that you recognize, elves, humans maybe not quite there are creatures with antennae bug-like creatures fascinating do we notice how many of the un uh, recognizable Ancestries are there. Uh, fair question. Let me check. Um, so 
So there are humanoids that are insectile, reptilian, rodential, like rodents, or some that are completely unrecognizable. Hmm. I wonder if that has to do something with whatever we're going through. I just relate to the party that the unrecognizable ones, I wonder if they're the ones responsible for whatever happens when you walk past. I could confirm that, because I know which ones were the bad ones. Is that line up with what he said? No. That's not correct. It's those. And I point out the four again. As I'm looking at these statues, can I glean anything with esoteric lore? Perhaps I've read something about... Yeah, please do. Ten. Yeah. Um, Aside from what I've said, nothing Mm. seems to jump out at you. I mean, you can recognize that they definitely have some kind of insectoid um, history, uh, reptilian or rodent base, and then some are just strange. Like you've never, you're not sure at all. I <laughs> call That's out. a fair point, Arashtok. <sighs> um, are these the source of your pain? <sighs> I don't know which ones. Yes, <sighs> there's an illusory enchantment. They, these four, and I point them out specifically. They, uh, their eyes have an enchantment that have you relive painful memories. It causes harm. Ma, I can you throw this? What was that? The rope. The rope. Yeah. Is this the one with the grapple on the end of it? I can it's attach just that? the rope. Because that will determine more than likely how difficult it will be to throw yes. it. The weight on the other end will be a lot easier than without. Here you are. Pull it out of my pack. As I see them preparing to obviously throw the rope, I will stow my shield, my spear, so I can catch it. Uh... Are you ready? I am. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, uh, just in case. Uh, and water dumps on you, giving you 10 temporary HP. For a minute. 60 foot range. Mm. So now uh, she is wet. Right. It's more than that. Uh, no. Pull her now, it does not last long. I will we'll throw the rope, but we'll throw one end of it. And I will attempt to catch it. Athletics? Uh, yes, absolutely. Do I hit her with it? Hopefully not. 26. 26. Uh, no, basically you, you take aim and you can kind of, uh, gently sort of toss it, um, you know, so that it's a perfect, perfect catch. Or still, you catch it. Yeah, both of my hands are open. I'm prepared for this. As I grab it, I'll move the grappling hook, put it into my backpack, and I will tie the rope around me in a way that it will be, uh, doubly secure. I'll wrap it around my arms. Uh... Almost in like a, a boat pulling fashion. I used to pull boats to piers. And I'll brace myself, uh, lower my body. Blank your mind and walk through. If there Think is of trouble, nothing. Would you like for me to yank as hard as I can? If we see oh. her. I don't intend to walk at all. I limber myself up and I will try to sprint as quickly as I can through this. Okay. Oh. All right. Arcelia, please make a will save. 21. 
You are being assisted by Malavik. You have prepared your mind. You are... pulled through this hallway quickly. You feel and maybe hear in your mind for moments memories just beginning to blossom. You hear maybe a person's voice. Something painful. Almost like someone is searching through your memory. Trying to find pain. And before you can even access those memories, you are pulled to the other side of the hallway. As I sprint through, you can see me grimacing, and I crash into Maluvik, tumbling into him as I... <laughs> I'll, I'll just catch her with arms open. <laughs> it certainly tried. <laughs> you are fine. You are strong. And then I will, uh... <laughs> unwrap the rope from myself and, uh, and, um, look to the others. Rest. <laughs> Maybe more trials ahead. I am afraid that this was the easiest one. I think so, too. Yes. Yeah. I, will, um, I will tend to Rashtok's wounds. Thank you. Mm. Be a nosebleed. Most definitely. As you all look back into this hallway, you see, for, for many of you, a place that has caused you remembrance of great pain and shame. When you look back on it now, it is a stone hallway. There are statues. They don't particularly look imposing. They are of scholarly figures. They look inwards towards each other. Maybe you were looking inwards. I would like to um, kneel beside Rostock and I will gather up some herbs and accelerate the healing using my treat wounds on him at a trained level if we have the time for it with my assurance. Sure. That would be nine points of healing to start. Very well. Uh, thank you. Mm. Of course. <sighs> I Maybe I some stand up. smelling salts or something just kind of mm -hmm. wake up your brain a little bit. I will go about redistributing the rope back to their owners, as well as the grappling hook. Yeah. Uh, just in my pack, thank you. Mm. Oh. Uh, just ahead you of are... you. Uh, I apologize. Sorry, go ahead. You are all right. All of you? I'm fine. <laughs> Such That's a mess of headache. Uh, uh, Celia, I have uh, uh, something for you. Uh, I pull out one of the uh, two lesser healing potions that I have, as one of them was for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, uh. you were uh, napping at the time we received these. Ah! Uh. Ah, uh, yes, I... Turn it around in my hands, inspecting it. Uh, I will admit that, um, I wasn't given a doctor's clearance. I, uh... Mm. Ocelia. <laughs> we do not need you to be... I am I, feeling... I bite my tongue. Much better. Don't worry. 
for me when you have issues. I can make some sort of herbal remedy to alleviate things. I will be fine, but yes, I'll let you know. No I stow the potion away. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention uh, to you, Karun, last week, um, Arashtok, uh, at the bottom of the pool of water before the hallway, found um, found some gold and also found uh, a vial. You were unable to identify it, unfortunately, but you have an unknown vial currently. Is there ever another chance I might get to identify it? Yeah, you probably can identify it once you get back to town, most likely. Very good. You just need somebody to give you some kind of point of reference or something. But before you all, uh, as you are tending to each other's wounds, uh, up ahead you can see um, um, another sort of rough-looking cavern. Um, you can see uh, there are huge pillars of worked stone that brace this cavern. There are bones and rusted, rotted armor that lie scattered across the floor. Uh, and to the north, you can see that the passage continues. Uh, well, since it is indeed a cantrip, detect magic. I'm looking to see. The bones tend to be necromancers, friends. I'm trying to uh, just see and feel magic in this room. I'm just trying to, I'm basic level. Uh, all it is is you receive no information beyond that if there is a presence or absence of magic. Okay, fair enough. Um, uh, so nothing deeper than that, unlike in the hallway from before. Sure. There's definitely magic in the next room. This room is magical! <laughs> so sorry. Uh, by my educated guess, necromancy. <laughs> Wonderful. So what you're saying is we should God. stay here for a bit. Uh, <sighs> perhaps. Uh, no. Hmm. Memories, bones, uh, they may animate, they may not. I am unsure. Be on your guard. Arcelia, perhaps weapons out is best plan. Hmm. I will take out my spear and I'll rest it in the crook of my arm as I pull out my book. I would like to look over the adjoining room. Perhaps there might be runes or other things I might be able to glean from esoteric lore. Uh, okay. I'm going to say it's going to be quite difficult uh, without getting a closer look, but you can absolutely mm -hmm. give it a shot. Okay. Twelve. I will use a hero point. Okay. Twenty-eight. That is a crit. Um, all right. So, uh, you can definitely see something on the pillars. Um, and you kind of confirm what, uh, what Arashtok was saying. Um, you think it is, in fact, related to necromancy. Hmm. Arashtok, look there. You see the masonry. There seems to be some kind of presence of runes, perhaps? I... Uh, I think you're right. Necromancy. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Uh, now that Arcelia has pointed out the runes, might I... Uh, is it close enough I could do a, an arcana check to see if I could determine what they say or represent? No. Okay, that's what I figured, but wanted to check. I cannot read the runes unless we get closer. That is the risk. Are we ready to see what 
Horrors await us. Um, uh, I have a question before we go. Uh, Lizard, can you take a look at this? And I hand a dread ampule to you, and I would just... Is this something that would affect uh, subjects of necromancy? You can absolutely make a, um, an arcana roll if you'd like. Lizard. A 20! The lizard rolls. Okay. <laughs> She just talk in third person all the time. Uh, the lizard <laughs> will move forward. <laughs> we are reading the runes. Uh, do I know anything about particularly necromantic subjects? Uh, well, specifically, Karun is asking you about this dread ampule uh, yes. that, she, that she is presenting. Um, so... Uh, I'm gonna say with a 20, absolutely. Uh, so let me just double check here. Um, I need to find this specifically for this. It tag. swirls and fills, fizzles in a little vial. And I hand it to you and you, you swear you can hear a little. <laughs> that was good. Did you trap souls in this? <laughs> No. <clears throat> Why does it scream? It's just a sound it makes, like a lobster, you know. That is a sound of death, though. It, it could be screaming from joy. Why is it called dread, then? Yeah, it's a good question. Well, if it's necromancy that we might be up against, perhaps my spear might be not as effective. Does anyone have a spare weapon on them? Perhaps something more blunt? I will, uh, detach the morning star from my side. Mm. Will this do? Yes, thank you. Wonderful. I'll put my spear away and switch it for the morning star. So, this, uh, ampule is... Uh, tagged in a few different ways. Alchemical, bomb, consumable, emotion, fear, mental, poison, and splash. I'm going to say that um, there's probably some undead that won't be super effective against a Rosh talk, but there's all different kinds. Um, I think you at least know that much. <sighs> you don't really know it's... what you're up against here. Yeah. <sighs> It is unknown. Uh, some undead, it will do nothing. Uh, it really depends what shows up. If it is skeletons? Uh, again, it is unknown. Uh, it depends on if uh, they have a mental capacity or not. And that really depends as well. I would say... Maybe a 50-50 shot, if you're willing to take it. Good enough for me, thank you. Mm. Whilst they have been deducing all of this, I would be working on my own wounds as well. Okay. 20 minutes have been spent doing this. Four points of healing. Okay. Are we ready, or are there more preparations we need? <sighs> also a gash on my thigh from when I was going through that hallway. If anyone can spare some time, I, I guess I need help. I can do that. Depending on how long it's taken to re deduce these things, I either start after or in between. Uh, the middle of Yara's ceiling, I don't know. But, uh, yes, I can do that. Now, let's see. I will use nature to heal, as I can do so. And something I wasn't doing until I read better. This has a plus two to it. As it is, I am healing with nature, and as someone who is... Uh, specializing in nature. If I heal with it, it does indeed get a circumstance of plus two. 
So that is a plus eight. Which I do believe is a critical success. Uh, okay. So you were doing your treat wounds? Yes. Okay. I gotcha. Uh, but I roll nature for it. Okay. So yeah, this is a 4d8. And you say there's an additional plus eight on top of that? Uh, yeah, for the, no, for the no. The actual roll itself, not for the healing. Yeah, for the roll, got a plus two. Skill. The healing is a 48 because it is a critical. Crit. Okay, mm -hmm. so 48. Oh, God, glad I did that. Very uh, nice. Totally 14. average. That is literally the most average possible. <laughs> exactly average. <laughs> Strange herbs and the use, but thank you. Uh, You'd see me, I'd be like pushing, making a paste and like rubbing it all over you. No is like, stitching. Is there like eye contact while you're like chewing herbs? No, oh, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> does, it, does it have to be chewed to apply the. The saliva of my people helps break down the poisonous elements of the herbs. That's interesting. I would think your saliva would be making it worse. I have no venom. What about that disease? That is a different clan. I've heard of your kind having disease. Uh, no, actually. Saliva. The saliva has light numbing properties. <laughs> Oh, you're doing so loudly that I can't do, I can't focus on my heel. Oh, I'm sorry. Scrambling for a sample of this. <laughs> I think almost rather be. Uh, I'll uh, feel free to, uh, what is it? Uh, see if I'm lying, Karun. <laughs> uh, it'd be a perception check. <laughs> no, I don't need to perceive a thing. Head, head empty. I'm just sam <laughs> uh, sampling. <laughs> Uh, but then, yes, I rub the paste over the mm. wound, and it does feel quite a bit better. Yeah. Yes, I... Thanks, and I get up in a hurry. <laughs> hmm. Ah, ah, ah. What next? I look back and make sure that it's okay. <laughs> I don't know what the ha ah, ah was about, but... Um... <laughs> No one, just... no one seems plus by it. You're the only one that's a little freaked out. <laughs> yeah, everyone else acts normal with these. And then in oh, my head, I'm just like, the these companions are just strange indeed. Uh, As all of this is going on, I'm standing in the threshold between these two rooms and just copying down the runes as best as I can. Taking notes. Mm. You know, Arsidia, we may want to... Let um, the people of Lost Lua know about those statues. Mm. So perhaps that would be good to write down as well. Mm, yes, good point. Uh, perhaps they do know and are oh. willing. I would have hoped they would have warned us about statues that could pull up repressed memories and cause you to uh, want to cave within yourself and crumble at the bottom of a, a stone flooring. Well, Perhaps. I was under the impression that no one's been here in a long time. So perhaps yes. they just don't Cent know Centuries. Yes. It that may is... have been a ward. Uh, look inward upon yourself before you can go and get the knowledge of your ancestors. Those not worthy cannot pass. A trial. It's true, just because you have access to information doesn't necessarily mean you might be worthy of it. I am familiar with these practices. Hmm. All right. Are we prepared? Unless we want to wait longer, I think um, this is the best we're going to get. I have an idea. Mm -hmm. If you want to hear it, please. I suggest that we use something to throw inside before we step in to make sure there are no traps. 
mm. or a way to trigger a spell. Uh, you've my sling, if you'd like to try and use that. I'm thinking something that makes a little bit more of a disturbance. <sighs> Maybe one of the Karoons. Concoctions. Have you said, um, say, you want me to do what? I was saying that maybe you could toss something in there that create a disturbance to see if it triggers some kind of trap and or magic or something far worse. What do I see on the floor in there? Uh, <laughs> bones and all sorts of like rusted looking armor and stuff. Um, yeah, I could... Uh, yeah. yeah. How structurally Just... sound does that room look? I mean, there's five large uh, pillars that are sort of reinforcing the cave. Um, I will do just this. Uh, I will toss one of the dread ampules in. Uh, where? Oh. I was thinking more of something that does burning, but that may work. These you are all bones. Burn? These are you all bones in here, right? There's a lot of bones. Bones, armor, rested armor, uh, runes on the pillars. Just be aware, I did use quite a few of your oh. uh, resources last week because it was pretty intense. The fight was oh. serious. Uh, How so, many well, just, infused I, reagents do I have? To, well, to I didn't with. use any of your infused stuff. I used the stuff that you had oh. crafted already. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just yeah. craft more. Uh, so I think it was, I th want to say that you had, I think it was you, one, uh, it might have been one and three left or one and two. You three used three, three and one, but I can craft. Oh yeah, yeah. Can you craft used at more. least two of them, I think. Yeah, oh, no, I used a bunch. Dread. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was at least those, but more than for sure. If you have like alchemist right. fire or something of that nature. Yeah, well, I'll toss one of the uh, dread ampules in. Yeah, 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 hang on, wait, should I, should I throw the, the, the spooky one or should I throw the other one? Maybe the one that may or may not work. That might yeah, be the, the best plan. Dread ampule. Yeah. Uh, before you do... Don't we have those bladders? Those explosives? Well, no, I'm saving yeah. those. The goopy sacks, I'm saving them <laughs> yeah, for later. Bo bomb, she doesn't care about sacks. Yeah, I never uh, ask for that. One of you with better vision than I, is there a particular pile of bones that is larger or more conspicuous that may be a good target? I wasted your goopy sack as well last week. <gasps> no, my goop. Yeah. No, my goop. Wait, we had two of them. There yeah, were... I had two. Oh, so I only used one then. Okay. Oh, yeah. all right. One. Thank goodness. Well, uh, I can see quite clearly in these dark areas. Um, that is a lot of bones. I also have dark vision. Is that is that really that many bones there? Yeah. It's, uh -huh. it's not... So just to be clear, not all of that is bones. Uh, there's also, like, rotted and rusty pieces of armor and stuff in there. Has, has anybody tried looking upward to see if there's some kind of massive, horrible spider or something that's been uh, leaving all of this? I mean, it, Does the group collectively yeah. look upward? <laughs> 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 Are there any spooky spiders? I'm, I'm like, well, yes. I hate that I idea. Up, yes. <laughs> Do a group perception check. <laughs> 27. Uh, critted, don't look up. Oh. 27. These are all very good rolls. Yeah, we should probably rolls. save these ones. Because my life isn't on the line. That's uh, why. Yeah, Stupid. there's no spider up there. Uh, anything else? Like a giant bone monster? No. Or just no spiders? <laughs> eyes and teeth. Does it look yeah. structurally sound? Um, yeah. Is it I mean, sexy? This, this place is, uh, you know, <laughs> it seems it's a, it's a rough hewn cave, you know? Um, this is stone, and then there's also these, uh, five large stone pillars that are pretty huge. So, looks pretty, pretty damn sturdy. 
What about traps in the walls? I'm just wondering how many people have died here and for what reason. Well, well there's a ton of bones. Uh, from what you can see, uh, Malavik and Arcelia, um, you don't notice any traps or anything uh, in your immediate area. It doesn't look like there's anything like, you know, hidden underneath the bones that you can see. There doesn't seem to be any hidden bones <sighs> as far as we can see. Sorry, That's what trapped. disturbs me. <sighs> the pillars seem deliberate. The area is mostly roughly hewn, but these were specifically crafted and placed here. <sighs> they are to serve a purpose. Yes. Uh, magic room. Acelia, mm. uh, before we go in, I had a thought. Holding my staff. This is magic. And you were asking about something blunt. Would you prefer this over the morning star? Oh. You would not be able to use this shield likely, though. No, I will need my second hand free. And besides, I lift up the morning star. If we need to smash something... This would be a more appropriate instrument. This smashes. But no, you would be no more. Thank you, though. Mm. Um, Rosh talk. Yes? I would, um, kind of expose some of my stained hair. Um. Yes, uh, yes. Could you perhaps... Water dumps upon your head. Oh, God, I was going for prestidigitation, bro. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> what? I, I, I just stand there like, well, I mean, uh, Lack of social skills, hello. I was... Do you ha ha ha? None of that. Huh? Do you do what? it like a hair flip? Oh, did you get rid of prestidigitation? What? No, I haven't. <laughs> um, I was... Oh, that was code. I was more so going for a, <clears throat> a magical cleansing. Uh, that's a magical oh, cleansing. No, 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 water, no, no, water. Oh, wow. no, I did, I did no, it. No, no, but you're nice. You, you used it before. I'm so that sorry. Very clean. I'm so sorry for the immersion breaking. I have to do this though. Oh my God, I'm we can't save you. We don't know where I'm you are. She's directly underneath ah. us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. You just had that saved. I do. <laughs> that happened. I wonder if I with the now. deliberate purpose I look back to the statues we just passed. The I wonder if these rooms are meant to teach us something. Perhaps. There may be trials, that is... Hmm. Well, I would like to point out, uh, from what I can see, there are five pillars and five of us. I'm not saying that that was, uh, constructed that way, but... If there is some need to have to move in between and or do something, we have enough of us, as I look back at Yara, different... Wringing uh, out my hair. Maybe... Maybe four of us. Um, no, I'm fine. Mm. It's great. It's, mm. Maybe oh. if a skeleton does come up, well, we should see what it tries to do first before we try to smash it. Oh. As you're uh, pointing things out, by the way, Arcelia and Malavik, you notice that there is also a... Uh, crack in the northwestern wall. Like, a, like a crack. Uh, it looks like you can probably fit through there. <gasps> oh my god, can we use squeeze? Oh, the secret door. Oh, squeeze! It's real! <gasps> squeeze! <laughs> uh, Is that a there for squeeze? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna just placate you and say yes, but I mean, I think 
we all know it's a secret door. Yeah. I mean, yes. But also squeeze. As I'm pointing <laughs> to the pillars, perhaps we don't attack whatever springs up for... Malavik, do you see yes. that? Yeah. In the corner says... there. Maybe an escape or a trap or some sort of test. A split in the road. But yes, northwest area seems to be of interest. Oh. We will not find out by standing here. What is the plan? Are we throwing something in there to trigger whatever it is? Or are we walking in there all together and find out what happens? I will always offer to choose seeking information before resorting straight to violence. I throw in the dread ampule. Make <laughs> <laughs> that decision, darling. I'm like, violence isn't always the answer, and then over my head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Just as far as I can huck it. Sure. Where do you try to aim? Just in the middle. Okay. Can you ping the map where you would like to do that? I don't Absolutely. know how to make a ping. Press so, this is another oh, just a long left click situation. It'll be quite tragic. Oh, there we go. There. However far I can make it, just as hucking it into okay. here somewhere. Where, where? Okay, there. Okay. All right. Throw it. <laughs> Everyone grab your token. The thing seems to happen. No. Oh. Completely safe. Wait. I didn't walk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I step forward. I say. Oh, I step with you in competition. <laughs> okay. We both squeeze yeah. in through this tiny ass crack. Yes. Hello. I'm, I'm, Is there I'm anyone squeezing here? squeezing with you in this tiny ass crack. Should we go through that tunnel you pointed out first? I mean, it's far in the distance. Yes. So let us let us lead the way, and you follow after. <sighs> So every every step, um, or so the mix, I'll challenge it with a step. Okay. I'm following behind. Yes. Curious as, about these runes. As we are walking as well, I'm keeping my eyes peeled on the ground. Mm -hmm. I have a bit of the bug from my friend Adronis, where shiny things would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you moving in the order that you would like to move in? <laughs> yes. I hate yes. Good question. Why did the music change? <laughs> no reason. Yeah. I saw that on his face. <laughs> Shall we take the wall? But that's a big pile of them bones over there to the left. And there's a big pile of bones there too. Yes. And the uh, middle seems a bit more shallow. Should we go to the middle or to the left? Oh, that's the just worst. avoid the spots with skulls, right? Because skeletons mm. need skulls, right? That's how that works. Uh, the moment we get close enough to a pillar that I can read runes, uh, I would like to do so. Okay. You have to be right next to a pillar to read its runes. All right. As I'm moving forward, once I can, I will be next to it. Uh. All right. What check would you like me to make? Uh, please make an arcana check. 19. Okay. Karun, have you entered the room yet? No. Staying in back? I'm kind of waiting to see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Arash talk. Um, yes. As you investigate this uh, pillar, you can tell there's definitely magic that is associated with these pillars. Um, it seems to be binding some kind of necromantic magic. To these, uh, to each of these locations. Uh, yes, wait a moment. There is indeed necromantic magic. That's what these runes. Uh, I cannot make out the exact spell, but they are necromantic. My guess is some sort of magic trap. Is there any way I could disable them? Outside of a dispel. You think so? 
it'd take you a little while and you would have to be very skillful otherwise something very bad could happen uh, uh, I could probably attempt to disable it but there is a high risk something bad will happen Hmm. I don't know if it'd be worse or better. Since I'm activated. in here. Oh, sorry. No, what are you saying? Since we're in this room now and I have a better look at the northwest room, is there a door blocking that path or is it open? It appears to be open. I mean, it's a kind of a cavern with, you know, these, these tunnels sort of hewn in the stone. Um to connect these different rooms. Ah. I'll just ah. side eye over to her uh, say and I was like <laughs> I have a question. If I see a torch icon, does that mean I see a light? Yes. Okay. I see a light in the crack. Yes. I, I see a light in the crack. Perhaps we do as well. We should head that way. Rashak, what is it? Uh, this? I'm looking at the pillar. Uh, I mean, outside of necromancy, I am unsure, but this room is filled with it. Rashak, speaking of which, darling, mm. might you be able to see if you're able to detect anything other than the pillars in here that might be magical? Perhaps a trigger or something. Uh, yes, I can actually. I could ignore the spells I know that exist already and try to pinpoint something else. What Specifically, would you like to do that? I would, yes. I will ignore these necromantic spells and try to see if there is anything else of note. Absolutely. Uh, there are quite a few bits all around the room. It seemed me like kind of focused a bit, uh, gripping my staff and kind of sweeping side to side as though I'm using a cone. Um, okay. So. I don't know how the schools of magic work in Pathfinder. Is it the same schools? I don't think it is. I can find a mm, I don't think it uh, is. It's close, but not the exact, I don't think. Abjuration, conjuration, divination, enchantment, evocation, I think illusion. it is the same, then. Same schools, okay. Same schools, mm -hmm. yes. So. It doesn't tell you what school of magic it is you though. learn the school of magic for the highest level of effect within the range the spell detects detects so it's um that's the highest level one yeah not as a cantrip yeah, yeah. it's either no, yes it's or no end. yes 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 you're correct yeah it's it's just yes and no but i can ignore the presence of magic i know mm -hmm. uh that's a heightened no, thing to know it to would... learn the noises and i don't have heightened third oh yes we're heightened so it's right just now. the white text that's yes. all i can do Mm -hmm. Which is just, I can ignore what I know exists, and I can see and feel other magics, but I won't be able to pinpoint what kind necessarily. Yeah. Um. And because I read the runes, I knew it was necromantic, so that's the why I was able to determine and piece it together. Otherwise, no, I could not do that. Uh, roll me a d10, please, Arashta. A five. Perfectly average. I am very average today. <laughs> I think this would be abjuration. Abjuration magic. Uh, do I have an idea what or where? Uh, yeah, closer to the north side of the room, near the northern pillar. Uh, uh, 
the, no, that northern, not the passage you saw, but that northern passage, the northern pillarish. There is magic of abjuration. That's normally your uh, protective spells or warding. Yes. A warding, suppression of others, barriers, that sort of things. Is it coming from the pillar itself or from nearby? Nearby. Near there, I can't quite tell. <sighs> More than likely, the pillar is uh, maybe uh, necromantic as well, though I'm unsure. Perhaps it would be in our best interest if we hug this western wall. Exactly yeah. yeah. what I was thinking. Squeeze through the crack. Indeed. Yes. I'm sure the others lead the way. Uh, no other magics I could feel. Outside of the necromantic. Um, Actually, now well, that I can, know that is there, yeah, I can only, do it again. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, Up to you if I can do it again or not. So this specifically says, you learn the school of magic to the highest level effect within range that the spell detects, and you can, um... That's for height. That's, that's not, yeah, I don't have that. He right. has the white part, it's so the bottom part. I'm going to say no. So, okay, that's fine. That's what I figured. Uh, I don't detect any other different magics. Uh, it doesn't mean there isn't, though. It's just, it's a bit muddled. Right. Uh, there may be things and in the bones I cannot see. At hearing uh, this, I will, I will come forth into the room. I'm hugging the wall now. Okay. Indeed. Hmm. Uh, is anyone else able to see anything physical in the bones? Yes, I would have been I looking, uh, as I mentioned, while we're passing through for anything that looks of value. Sure. Uh, make a perception check, please, Yara. 22. Oh, yeah. There are some bits that catch your eye around the room. In various locations, Yara. Um, mostly near the pillar. Are they mm-hmm. close to us? Which pillar, yes. The northern um, one? There's one near the northern one. There's one... Of course. Uh, yeah, there seems to be something near each of the pillars. Um, oh. Yeah, you notice there's something um, on the... Near the pillar uh, over here that's kind of like underneath a bunch of the rotted armor and stuff. Mm-mm. There are some shiny bits. If you look near each of the pillars, that... That can't be Harpenstance, yes. It, uh, uh, it might be deliberate. By yes, each yes. pillar. By each uh, pillar, indeed. Well, I believe we just found what will trigger whatever is going to happen in here. Possibly, yes. Is it worth it? D- take a look at it closely, but not touch it. Maybe. Indeed. Um. Uh, now that I, you've I, seen it. I will simply lean. Mm-hmm to see if I can look closer. I am not moving, and I am not touching. Sure. Uh, you see there is a skull, and uh, it has uh, some armor on it, some kind of glinting armor. As you get closer, I'd like everybody to select their tokens, please, and roll initiative. Yep. Wait, the music popped up, and I was like, yep, mm-hmm. the music. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> um as clattering to oh. unlife before you you see three <laughs> skeletons with armor on them begin to form out of the bones around you all well, i'm going to look between karun and rashtok and i'm going to be like well that makes sense doesn't it mm, it mm. does at least we weren't surprised <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see here. Can you describe these things, please? I want to know how yeah. much they're um, going to hurt. You were you were looking at this one that was kind of uh, over by the pillar over here. Let's move you right here, Yara. Um, I said I was leaning whack! Yeah, that's even worse. I said I didn't move, I specified! She was bending over. I whack was like... 10 foot lean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yara suddenly grows empty. Oh, how wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> if, if Adronis was here, yeah, that would be Yara, nice. please that make an acrobatics roll for me. Oh, fuck 
like me, all right. <laughs> That's a nine. Be careful what you ask for. Okay, Yara, you're, you're here. Um. <laughs> your ten foot lean as you step forward. Oh, oh you stumble forward. A closer look, hold Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Those okay. damn stilettos. That was a choice, Yara. <laughs> okay. Oh, of course. Those damn Galorians. So, uh, you notice uh, these skeletons are definitely of different species. There is one that looks decidedly elven in nature. There's one that looks uh, like something you haven't quite seen humanoid, but there are some remnants of antenna uh, growing from their head. Um, and uh, that's the other two. So one elf and two other ones that look like they had some kind of antenna there. Um, and that being said, Arcelia, you see these skeletons start to form out of the bones. What do you do? Oh, okay. Mm. So they are wearing armor. What kind of weapons are they wielding? Um, let's find out. Looks are like, they wearing the shiny bits or is it still on the ground? Uh, yeah, there's, there's there some armor. shiny bits. There's some shiny bits. There's, uh, it looks like, uh, some of them have uh, a long sword, uh, some chain mail, a shield. One of them has a lance. Ooh. Did you say shield? Yep. Mm. Okay, I have a question. Can I move through my allies' spaces? Sure. Yes. yes? Why not? Okay. Uh, five. I, be- 10, I do believe you 15, can if they're willing. 20, 25. I'll listen. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I can, do- I can do it like this, right? Like, like that. 25. Sure. Um,. As and I pull out the morning, I would I would allow this to happen. However, there is an attack of opportunity that happens as you begin to move around this. Wow. Oh, is this the first time that we've gotten no. hit by an attack of opportunity? Second, second, second time. Yeah. Is it okay? The mass. Uh, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. I wouldn't know that though. Yeah. Um. Okay. So uh, this one has a long sword. Yeah. It rears back and will attempt to strike you with. So the the attacks of opportunity here, uh, uh, let me just see. A creature within my uses a manipulate action or a move action makes a range, yep. So all you have to do is make a move action within their uh, attack range Mm, and then the attack mm -hmm, of opportunity mm -hmm. goes off in this game. Um, Quick question, magic and ranged count as well for attack of opportunities or no, I can't remember. Uh, this says it's just m- manipulate strength. action or move, move action. or ranged. So ranged attack. So if you make a ranged spell attack, that would count. Mm, yes. Ooh, okay. Wowzers. Okay. Yeah. Uh, headed your way is a long sword attack. That is... It throws a long sword at yeah, me. Is... I catch it. <laughs> I add it to my inventory. No longer has... Oh, God. That's a 26 oh. to hit. Okay. <sighs> that hits. Okay. I need to check into your character sheet, Whack. I don't think it's fair. <laughs> I concur with this, quite frankly. Saying the quiet part out loud. Uh, <laughs> indeed. As it strikes you, uh, as you move around, Arcelia, for uh, five slashing damage. I wheel around. It is now flat-footed. I Flanked. will... Or is that both? I don't know if that's the same the thing. thing. Same thing, yeah. okay, just wasn't sure. Second action, exploit vulnerability. I will make an esoteric lore check. Jesus Christ, we gotta shorten that shit up. <laughs> it's all important. Do you have Other points. It's canon I, by now, what do you mean? <laughs> I feel like exploit vulnerability is the equivalent of Bilbo getting the contract from the dwarves and the hobbit. <laughs> and it's got like, the. The side pages, you fold sideways as well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, okay. A 16. 16 probably failure. I do not believe that is a success. 
it is a success. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, skeletons. Um That's versus then... their level DC, right? Yes. Yep. Uh so I learned of its highest weakness. Okay. Its highest weakness. Hmm. I will say that it is vulnerable to positive. Okay. What's the number? They're not vulnerable um, mechanically. Okay. It hmm. doesn't have it doesn't have a a real vulnerability to positive, but it if you attack it with negative, that would that would be uh. healing. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um Okay, yeah. Their Final that would Fantasy count too. 7 on their Final Fantasy undead. Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, with the way that my successes work, if there's like no weakness, then I do learn like its highest resistance or highest immunity basically. So, that works. Um Okay. Then I will I could yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. We'll give you that. Okay. I, I will if you rolled better, I'd tell you more, but 16 just barely makes it. This is gotcha. kind of one of those creatures that is like a lot of stuff to know, but I think since you just barely made it, that's that's all I'm going to give you. Okay, then I will choose the personal antithesis instead of mortal weakness here. Uh, as I wheel around, I reach into the leather innards of my satchel and I begin to sprinkle this glowing iridescent dust on the metal face of the morning star to activate the personal antithesis. And then for my last action, I will smash. Okay. 20 to hit. Uh, yes. Uh, this one attack you. It will not use its shield in this case. Because um, I feel like it's more interested in hurting you. Uh, okay. So a nine bludgeoning damage with the Morning Star. You yep. smack this thing pretty hard. Uh, <clears throat> with the morning star and you, you see like several bones like crack and dent some of the uh, armor on this thing this chain mail just sort of like um, batters against it as you smack it so this is nine so, plus three three okay okay and it's two sorry so that's plus five it is empowered all righty and that is my turn. Alvik. I would look at it and peer into its eye holes and rage. <laughs> and I will uh, attack it with a great sword swipe. Actually, before. I'm confused. I don't know how this works. So if it's a skeleton, it doesn't have eyes, I presume. So I can't glare at it. The intimidating glare. It has correct? the uh, comic book evil glow eyes. Ah. Uh, then yes, I will give it an intimidating glare. Okay. Uh, and see if it does anything. Are there any specific tags on intimidating glare? Yes. Sorry. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, where is it? There is. Yep. Just general and skill. Yep. Okay. I can look up to see if it works on an uh, undead. It may not. Yeah, they can be affected by intimidating them. Yep. They can uh, or they cannot. They cannot. They can. Excuse me. They can. I'll uh, post it. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah, because I didn't see anything that would stop it uh, in the sheet, so it looks fine to me. Uh, okay. And let's see. Uh, you need to make an intimidation roll. Wait. Are these intelligent or not? What is the definition of intelligent? 
Self-preservation. <laughs> okay, no. No, no, no. I, I think it would have to be like a, a vampire and, uh, you know, something yeah, of that. Yeah, something sense. of that But a nature. skeleton is probably brainless, so it doesn't have any intelligence, so I cannot, it cannot be intimidated. Oh, as in dead or immune to all mind affecting. Yes, so they would okay. be immune. Yeah. Alrighty. All right, then I will not do that. Thank you, D and D five E. Um, I will come down forward on it as hard as I can with my great sword, and this will be with draconic rage, as flames light my sword and I come down hard. I'm a twenty-one. To hit. Okay, is the and this is uh the four is built in. Yeah, this is the same one that uh, you're on the opposite side of this one. Correct. Right okay. Yes. Um, yes, that is a hit. Um, as you bring down the attack, you notice that um, it's much harder to connect with this creature because uh, you have uh, basically it's just made of bones. Um, you have no skin to tear. Um, you kind of just bring down this uh, this great sword to try and hit it. Um, it is rather difficult to hit. Uh, however, you do land the blow, and uh, you see several bones crack and in the process. Uh, you see several ribs kind of like fall off this creature, falling off into the into the uh, rubble to the ground, um, and it's uh, sort of looking a bit wobbly. Yes. And then I will. As I bring the sword down, I will sweep it in an arc for his leg area. Twelve. That is a miss. Um, you, I think, I think what happens here is, uh, the creature just kind of like batters, uh, the the uh, its shield against the attack and sort of throws you a little bit off balance, and you <laughs> swing. And, and go a bit wide. I will attempt to grapple it for my last action. Okay. Go ahead and make an athletics check, I think. Or strength. Oh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that's Love a it. natural one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think as you go to, to grab it, um, you just kind of uh, stumble on some of the, the <laughs> refuse on the ground. I mean, there's lots of bones and rusted armor and stuff, and you just kind of slide and you, <sighs> you miss. Can I grab it? All right, this one up here will uh, starts to clatter its way over to you, Malavik, and it will attack you with a lance. Thirteen to hit is a miss. It will then. I will block that uh, with my arm. Then it will. Uh, Try and strike you again. Oh, actually, it only has to go this far. This has reach. Okay, mm -hmm. very nice. Um, uh, second attack with the lance. Natural one. Okay. Uh, second attack just clatters against the rock uh, nearby and misses completely. Third attack. Oh, no. Never mind. It, it had moved. moved. Yeah, it yes. Moved. Uh, okay. Okay. One over here on the eastern side will rush towards you, Arcelia. And actually, all right, it's too stupid to get into a flanking position. Um, and it will just rush at you and attack. Uh, this one has a longsword. 25 to hit. Four, <laughs> nine slashing damage. Arcelia. <laughs> uh, second attack. Is a miss. I bring up the morning star and I deflect it. It's sort of a clumsy attack uh, on its second swing misses you. You can tell like this uh, creature maybe in its life might have been a skilled fighter, but it doesn't seem to understand that it's it weighs a, it it's weighted differently now. You know, like it's it's attacking as if it was still that creature that was alive and it just doesn't have a good sense of its own weight and it overshoots the attack okay 
Uh, then the one that is right next to Yara that uh, Malavik and Arcelia have been uh, smacking. Um, let's see. I will make a roll here. Let's see who it goes after. It's kind of dumb. Uh, it will go after Arcelia. This will be a long sword attack. Ooh. Welcome back. Ooh. <laughs> is that a critical? I think with it's your AC? No. Oh, okay. my my AC is nineteen. Good, 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 good. good, good. Uh, because that's Almost. twelve <laughs> slashing damage. Um. <laughs> uh, it will then attack again with its second attack. An 11 is a miss. Third I attack stumble out the way. Is a 7. So quick strikes. Uh, Arcelia manages to, to uh, turn and, and batter both of these uh, skeletons away uh, as they rapidly attack. Okay. Arashak. Uh, seeing the slashes upon Arcelia for one action. Life boost, you begin to feel your wounds knit themselves closed. Four rounds of this. You will get four HP a round. Uh, my guess is on your turn. So, take note of that. Thank okay. you. And for my second action, and that was how many this rounds? Four rounds? Four mm -hmm. rounds, yes. Okay. Put a little and green dot with a four on it for you. Dot it on yours, yes, perfect. <laughs> and that is all of my focus points gone. And then for my last two actions, I am going to Ray of Frost, the one right in front of me, with as close as possible without being in range. <laughs> Just... <laughs> With a 25 to hit due to its flat-footedness. Okay. Uh, let's see. That would be seven cold damage. Okay. Uh, the Ray of Frost connects with this creature, and, uh, you can see it has almost no reaction at first, Arashtak, and you kind of, like, Amp up your intensity with the yes. with the attack, and just you can put more of your focus into it, and you uh, eventually, sort of, just at the end of this attack, yeah. manage to finish this creature off. It just kind of <laughs> it's like freezing on all of its bones, and then whatever magic was holding them together just kind of. <sighs> They clatter to the ground. It felt like my magic wasn't working well, though, yes? Yep. All right. That's good to know. Uh, that is all I do, but cold does not seem to do as well as I'd hope. Mm. That is it. Yara, it's your turn. All right. Um, let us see. All right, what I will do is I will go ahead and uh, use an action to step behind Arcelia. Uh, as this creature is clattering to the ground, I will go ahead and I will place a hand on her, and the scars upon my face will go ahead and stretch inward towards my nose, and I will cast Life Link upon her. This will give her three points of healing automatically. And whilst I am doing that, I will go ahead and I will lower my hand to wherever she has been wounded, and I will uh, attempt to treat her wounds uh, using my assurance at a trained level for nine points of healing. So that is twelve points total. You see that I instantly begin to stand taller as I face off the other skeletal champion. I cannot lose you quite yet, Arcelia. <sighs> You've always got my back, Yara. Literally, this time. <laughs> oh. Is that it for your turn, Yara? Yes, that is my t that's my turn. I think oh. I take psychological damage from that. 
heads up, you two. I would like to throw a, a fire. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, which one? Where? Oh, uh, sorry. This one here. Uh, eh. Right, right here. Right at the back of Arcelia's head. Got it. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, Twenty-three is a is a hit. Um, and that is for six fire damage. Uh, so, Karun, as you lob the bomb, uh, at this creature, this lesser, uh, alchemist's fire, it sort of, uh, splatters this napalm-like goop all over this creature, and, um, it quickly bursts into flame as you can see some of the bones are a bit charred. But otherwise, it doesn't look too damaged. But it does not take uh, persistent fire damage from this? It, it is still on fire. But it but doesn't it is seem not... too bothered by it. All right. Then, um... <clears throat> then I will take cover. <laughs> I tried! <laughs> and I will take a greater cover behind this, um, this, pillar. uh, pillar. Sure thing. Arcelia. All right. I shall exploit vulnerability again on the one in front of me. So esoteric roll. Oh, 13. Shit. Okay. Uh, a failure. I can still do the Bristol Antithesis. Um, I just can't do the mortal weakness. Okay. Uh, personal antithesis is active, and for my second action, I swing the morning star. Twelve. That is a miss. Mm. I uh, swing again. <laughs> Did something bad happen if I roll on that one? Uh, do you want it? No, to? right? No, fuck no. <laughs> you miss. Don't, don't give him ideas. <laughs> Never in love that. with me. Oh my god. So I, I didn't do that. Happen. He'd make so you I didn't. Weapon. <laughs> I purposefully didn't do uh, any sort of critical fails because it doesn't. It doesn't really. There's nothing technical that really happens on a critical fail here. Uh, I always have loved critical fails and critical successes to give you something, um, but I think you guys have had a pretty brutal experience thus far so uh no i haven't been doing that uh, that's my turn okay um malavik it's your turn <sighs> i'm my eyes are darting back and forth between the two i see i see your head but if i move a roster actually no i don't do that I have no cognizance of, uh, I just attack what I see in front of me. So I will go. Yeah, there's a skeleton that's trying to poke you with a lance. Yeah, I will, uh, yeah, it, it attacked me. I will go towards it and I will slam my sword into it. Okay. Unfortunately, it is an attack of opportunity. What? Yeah. Oh, cause of the range. Reach. That's mm -hmm. fine with me. I think I if you do a five foot step, it doesn't. Can oh, do yeah, that. he did just. He did be just. within do a five. range of it, of oh, not the weapon I'm looking for the five foot, not to so forget. So, the. Let's double check on the step. Uh, yeah, step five feet without triggering a reaction. You, so, you can it do that. It doesn't need to be right you next like to it? the target. Okay, cool. You can do that. All right, well, then I'll swing with ferocity. Okay. <laughs> It's a tin. <laughs> a little too ferocious. You get, uh, again, kind of overbalanced, you know, like, uh, yeah. you slip. This is a brutal, like, this is, this is definitely, like, difficult terrain, uh, trying mm. to walk around in this. There's just bones. Imagine Skyrim, any room with any bones. Yeah. They, they will kill you. They just kill you. Like, you, there's no bones. You can't see any. And then there's just a femur on the ground, and it somehow impales you through your eye. Uh, yeah. it's this kind of. That's, that's the vibe here. And frustration. 
I will take an action to put up my great sword because I'm in tight quarters and swinging this thing may bounce against something. I don't want to break it. And I will use my hands from now on for damage. I will punch. This is bludgeoning damage. It will change my attacks to regular rage, not draconic. I'll consume the flames inside of me, and then I will punch out at the one in front of me. I will do it at a number two as a penalty. Okay. This is just a punch, you said? You're doing an unarmed strike? An arm strike. Okay. Max damage. But a 10 again. Mm-hmm. I did uh, it at a second level because of the... Uh, I struck out with my great sword. Right. Uh, yeah, um, you uh, try to strike out with your fist. Uh, just kind of do like a, a, a backhand or something uh, with your fist um, as you miss with the greatsword, and that uh, that does miss, unfortunately, as well. <laughs> I will now say focus on that one. I will handle this, and uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Okay, skeletal champion. Uh, now is in a situation with its lance. I don't know if it gets a circumstance penalty now because you are close. I don't know if that's the way that that works. I'm not sure. Jousting. What the hell does that tag mean? Just it's get mounted it? combat. Okay. Yeah. That's... Seems like a Everything lot of work. I saw it doesn't change anything. It just doesn't use the reach. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's just gonna try and uh, fucking hit you with this lance. It's probably like clubbing it instead of stabbing. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Um, first lance attack on you, Malvik. Twenty-two to hit. It. Yes. For seven piercing damage. I just scream at it as I it barely pokes through my armor. Chain. As it burns through the fire, uh, the cloth fire shield that a, a proc when it hits, and uh, my six temporary hit points goes away, and I lose one hit point. Okay. Second attack. <clears throat> 20 to hit. Let's make a break. I... For eight piercing yep. damage this time. <clears throat> Last attack. Is a miss. Yeah. Okay. Skeletal champion that is by you, Arcelia, uh, will try and strike with its longsword. Just, again, kind of mindlessly swinging towards you. 16 is a miss. Mm Mm-hmm. I dodge out of the way. Second attack. 19 to hit. It hits. 11 slashing. I forgot to add the uh, Rashtox thing. It was plus two, uh, right? Four. Plus four, okay. Yes. And that goes down to three. Okay, and then I take 11 Yara damage. also has a link on you, right? Yes, yes. I would take three of that damage. Yeah, so okay, I so think... I gain three more back. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, no. Okay. Uh, that's the first attack. Second attack. Twenty-one for nine slashing damage. <clears throat> and the last attack. Uh, that was the th- third attack. Oh, yeah. Yes, that, and that is should correct. have been a Sorry minus ten instead uh, of five. Okay, so that should have been. That will s- not hit. Yeah, that would have been a sixteen. So this last one was not a hit. Thank you. <sighs> It's like, oh god, four attacks! Oh no! It's like, I am a champion. (laughs) It got worse! How did it get worse? Another arm forms. (laughs) Oh no! Please not. (laughs) Okay. Starts tickling. (laughs) Rashtok. Yes. Seeing that. A drop of water. Well, many drops of water splash 
upon Arcelia giving her eight temporary HP for the next minute. Okay. You are in moistened, Arcelia? In moistened! Just what? Find my shitty sound effect. I need to get some waterproof boots or something. There it is. <laughs> my favorite shitty sound effect. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, for my final, just kind of hunch down and like brace myself with uh, just taking cover, which is just two AC. Just okay. Yara. Since I only have one action left. All right. So, a question that might not be easy to answer because I did not find anything in my search. So, uh. As a life oracle, with my moderate curse, I roll d12s for heals, for magical healing, for a heal spell. Um, I am unsure if that d12 would apply to undead. I know a plus eight for a two action does not. I found that in my research, but I'm unsure if the d12s apply to damage to undead creatures. Or if it would simply just be healing. So, this is for your witch spell, heal? For my, my regular healing spell. So, right. if I do, if I if I have a moderate curse, let's mm -hmm. say I heal Arcelia, right? right? I heal for d12s because my curse is moderate. So, it goes up from a d8 to a d12. Uh, so, so this will be in your curse. It would have to be, yes. it would specify in your curse. Um, let me just double check what that says. Would you like me to post it? Uh, no, it's okay. I'm gonna read it from here. I mean, you can for chat. I think it's gonna be a little too many words to fit yes, in. Yes, it is most yet. certainly too many words. Chat, read it quickly. <laughs> yeah. Lightspeed. Lightspeed reading, go. Um, okay. Facts that restore hit points. So that would d then still be a D8, it, I believe. It sits in the middle when you finish casting the non uh, It po does have positive trait, regardless. Right. Mm -hmm. It does say if the targets are living creatures, though, which is I why something in I am incredibly notes. confused. Uh, no, that's not um, what we're looking for. So it, it does say... I don't oh, go think on. your curse... Uh, has any effect for this? I think it. They take the, whatever the heal is. I don't yes. think your curse applies. Yes, because undead also do not take. It, it doesn't mention undead, much like how right. the um, two action heal does not mention undead right. uh, for the plus eight. So, um, all right. Just wanted to clarify how you wanted to rule it and how how we wanted to play with that. Um, all right. Um, that being said, looking around. Um, Hmm. Hmm. Um. What I will do then instead is, um, I'm going to go ahead and I will, um, place a hand on Arcelia and cast Forbidding Ward upon her. You will feel a bright, you'll see a bright golden light start to overcome you, and you'll feel this kind of cold energy on you. Um, so you get a plus one to your AC, uh, as well as saving throws against attacks and whatnot. Um, and that is two actions. And for my final action, I will go ahead and I will... I will cast Guidance upon Arcelia as well. Okay. For a plus one to attacks and what have you. Okay. And that is my turn. Alrighty. Uh, Karun, just so you're aware, by the way, Karun, your yes. uh, your bombs have a ten foot splash damage AOE. Just mm -hmm. So you're aware. Um, I would like to take another dread ampule. Okay. And I will, I will throw this one here, right here. So I just, I would like to pull it out of its little carrying case and just. <laughs> 
Okay, hey, you guys, one more time. Doc, please. 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 Docking. I will throw it uh, here. Okay. Twenty-one is a hit. Uh, okay. I need to check on this because I mean I don't see anything that says this isn't gonna work. Let me see what the mental trait says. Undead are not immune to mental attacks. They can yeah. still take mental damage. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, but if this is a skeleton, they are immune to mental damage. I can post it, but because we we keep saying undead, but if it's there's specifics yeah, depending there's on the undead. Yeah, skeleton tagged. There you go. But of course, I guess you can rule left of yes or no. So, unfortunately, there doesn't seem Good to be... Good luck, you guys! <laughs> there doesn't appear to be Sorry. any... I take greater cover again and end my turn. <laughs> oh, no. Don't be sorry. We need to know the rules. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Arcelia, it's your turn. Okay, I heal bad. four. Oh, don't feel bad. Two. Okay. Wait, um, wait, wait. This will... Let's give Karun and Malavik a hero point. <gasps> oh, thanks. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give Karun my hero point too, because I feel bad. <laughs> sure, Unless you're max, then I'll take it. <laughs> no, nah, I got it. Thank you. Mm. I strike with my morning star. <sighs> 24. 24? Well, 25. 25 actually with guidance. Okay, yes, that is a hit. Okay, and this is for nine bludgeoning damage. What is the bonus on this one? Uh it's gonna be plus five. But you so didn't succeed total. on the But it triggered the personal antithesis. So with the failure, eight? I get the personal Excuse antithesis. Me. No, it's empowered. So basically, if oh. I don't have anything in my other hand, I can make my weapon empowered automatically. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so for it's the clarification. Yeah, no worries. And broken. That's dope. Yeah. So even if I fail, I get the first one to the sis, like okay. always. Uh, you you uh, get a very satisfying hit, cracking the sternum on this uh, skeleton using. <laughs> it's still kind of mindlessly swinging its sword towards you. Well, I will mindlessly swing my morning star again. Yeah! Yes. A little too head empty on that one. Uh, you swing uh, uh, way too hard and uh, smack into the pillar. And then I'll swing it back. <laughs> Another miss. The skeleton just kind of wobbles out of the way. Okay. That's my turn. Alvik. <laughs> I'll uh, attempt to barrage this skeleton with attacks with my fists. A 22. That is Max a damage. hit. Okay. Uh, yeah, you smack this thing uh, with a uh, with a, uh, a hammer blow here, Malavik, and. Uh, you see several bones kind of like shatter from the impact. <laughs> and then in a rage, I will continue. 11. Okay, this time you smack some of the armor. You can see like your knuckles get a little <laughs> bloodied from the attack. And for my final attempt, I will try to disarm this because I have two hands free. It's an athletics check against the. Hold on, I looked this up beforehand. It's like. It's loading. Come on, come on, come on. 
All right. Uh, disarm action requires you to have at least one hand free. And if the target uh, can't be more than one size large, I'm assuming it's medium, right? It is a medium creature, yes. Okay. Uh, athletics check against the target's reflex DC. Okay. Make an All athletics right. check. Oh, lovely, a 12. Nope. Right. Be this was a grapple, time. you said? No, it was a disarm. Oh, disarm. Uh, that is a miss. Fortunately, you go for the attack. The skeleton just kind of uh, brings the lance back, um, and the uh, the great sword just kind of bounces off the um, the rounded part of the, uh, the lance. I was trying to disarm it, so okay. I just missed, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Is that it for your turn? That is it. Hey, okay. skeletal champion uh, with the lance. Uh, and these antennae will uh, try and strike at you. Sixteen a is a miss. Uh, second attack. Twenty-four for ten piercing damage as the lance <laughs> kind of batters into the sword. Then it brings it back and strikes, mm. drawing blood. Uh, last attack is another miss uh, as it kind of drags like a furrow through your flesh. Um, it is unable to bring the lance back for a third attack. Okay, the one with the long sword by you, Arcelia, uh, will try and strike you. 14 is a miss. An eight is a miss. And lastly, with an 18 to hit, that is a miss. That's a miss. Reinvigorated by the magic of my companions, I am able to deftly dive out of the way of each of these blows. Okay, Arashtak, it's your turn. Yes, I'm going to do the same thing but for Malavik. With another rousing splash. For three temporary HP. Better than nothing. Uh, and then so I... many jokes, don't make them. I'm rousing them to be invigorated. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I brace myself again, taking cover after nice. seeing him nice and moistened. Oh, okay. Anybody else craving a pumpkin spice latte? Yeah, <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I will uh, look. Take your bit. three temp, and that's my turn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just like, mm. uh, it doesn't phase me. I'm not even paying attention. I just okay. see this thing in front of me, but I do feel some sort of power emit. Fact. Okay, is that it for your turn? Yes. Arash oh, Arash 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 Arash. Yes, yes, I took cover. Okay, Yara. You cast, did you cast Rousing Splash on him? Is that what you cast? Yes. Okay, all right. Um. Hmm. Oh, this is taking a while. Um, all right. What I will do is I will, um, I will spend an action to sustain my forbidding ward on our Syria. Just to have that back in the chat. And I will go ahead and with my last two actions, I will finally um, try and throw some sort of an attack. So I will wave my hand over the rapier that... Uh, formerly was Adronis's, and the needles will spawn above my hands as I launch them at this undead creature that is next to Arcelia. Oh, that is the wrong spell. For 22 to hit. Okay. Uh, that is a hit. And what kind of damage is this? That I do uh, not know. Can't trip, attack, concentrate, manipulate metal. 
It does not say piercing, even if they are needles. Yeah, I suppose it's... Oh, no, it does. The needles deal 3d4 piercing damage. Piercing yes, it damage. Does. I was say, yeah. I'll alter it so it says that, okay. just so we don't yeah, yeah. have that again. You can set that in the attack type, I believe. Yes. Um, okay. So, uh, the needles... You can see some of them connect with some of the bones. Um, some cracks begin to form. Ah! And, uh, just to be clear, they are the, the cold iron or steel or whatever, so not that that matters, but maybe it does. I don't know. Um, and that is my turn. That is all. Okay. Faroon. I would like to raise my uh, crossbow and attempt to shoot with the crossbow this guy who has seemingly evaded every single chemical and alchemical attack I could possibly throw at it. They're so anti-you, it's not even funny. I haven't even listed all this stuff that they completely nullify from you. Don't worry, Garun, this is not the first time this happened in the campaign. <laughs> Oof. Okay, a 10, unfortunately, is a miss with the uh, hand crossbow. Wait. <laughs> Karun goes back to greater cover <laughs> and cries. That was a wonderful attempt. Ooh. Thank you. Continue distracting it. Oh, yes. Wonderful interpretation. Arcelia, it's your turn. Okay. Uh, I heal four from the life boost. Bump this down by one. And then I smash. <sighs> 24 to hit. That is a hit. That'll be 10 damage. How do you destroy the skeleton? Mm, I bring down the Morning Star onto the skull and I would like to crack the skull and smash it down its final column. Oof. It smashes downwards. It's uh, cracked and broken as it falls to the ground. It's jaw sort of shattering as it smashes down to the ground. Uh, okay. Uh, do we know if the lance has 10 foot reach or something? It does. Okay. That means I have no choice. I'm going to trigger an attack of opportunity no matter what. Um, okay. I'm going to run all the way here. Okay. It uh, does see you rushing forward, and we'll get an attack of opportunity here. Mm-hmm. One to hit. Okay, um, I take eight damage on the temp hit points. 11 minus eight. Quick math. So hold on. Before you start doing math, the temporary HP does not stack. Yes, I haven't lost it yet. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure when you guys are taking the temp HP, it, it's not um, mm -hmm. it yeah. doesn't stack. It's it yes. overwrites. Yeah, his. Oh, it overwrites it entirely. That's good to know it too. It overwrites with whichever one is higher. So higher. if you had one that was higher before, it's neg. It doesn't do anything. And then three more damage. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Yes. Uh, the lance uh, strikes out at you uh, as it's sort of winding up to hit Malavik. You rush into view. And there is a hit breaking through. For my final action, I will exploit you all. No, I'll just swing. Uh, my second attack. Nine. That Eight. one is a miss. Okay, it is now flat-footed. That's the end of my turn. Okay. Malavik. <sighs> Stop moving. Um, I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to first attempt to grab it with one hand. Okay, athletics check. A 20. Gonna be close. Uh, what is this versus? I think... This is versus their athletics, yes? Or athletics? Uh, reflex, maybe? No. See. That it's... does the flat footed also affect that? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Guys. 
can make an uh, uh, flat footed minus two to AC. Uh, da, 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 da. nope. Um, okay, and let's see. Grapple. Grapple is Captain Athletics checked against their Fortitude DC. Okay. Wow, that's interesting. I, I would think it would be reflex, but it's not. Uh, okay. Yeah, to saw him as reflex. It's just weird. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, that is a success. Oh. Then if it's grappled, it takes a penalty, correct? It does. Um... Mm, uh, on a success, uh, okay, it looks like that's an error in the compendium. Let me see what it says in the core rule book. Sorry for making this difficult. Um, okay. looking it up as well. I got something for you. Grapple. It gains grabbed condition, so yeah. there's condition. It's just condition. grabbed, okay. Negative five to attack rolls. Let's see, grab condition imposes a multiple attack penalty of negative five on a creature's attack rolls and dexterity based checks. Okay. Hmm. I will attempt to punch it with my other hand. There you go. That is, that is uh, a miss. Just yeah, barely. it only takes a negative two. Just barely. Just well, you also have a flat footed. Oh, yeah. It's only a negative two to AC. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Yeah, I'll take it again. All right. 20. That's a hit. <laughs> Um, so you're kind of locked up like <clears throat> hockey style, you know, you've got this thing by the armor grabbing it and you're just doing that like overhand yeah. hockey smash into their exactly. face. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Crunch, crunch. Uh, some of the, uh, teeth just kind of cr crack and fall off. And that'll be the end of my turn. Let's see. Finish it. Skeletal champion acknowledges what you say, and we'll try to finish it. <laughs> okay. Uh, this will be very awkward. It's going to try and break your grapple. Mm -hmm. um, so this will probably be... We're going to do uh, counter athletics, I assume. Um, let's see. I think it was an escape roll they do. Yes. Okay, so they can do athletics or acrobatics. Uh, it's going to do an athletics check of a 14. And I think you have to do... I have to do a check or is it against my... Uh, let's see. I think last time it was against, let's see. At, uh, the, the athletics DC of the creature of grabbing you. Yes. Which will be a 20, right? Because we checked that yes, last your, time. Your stat plus 10. Yes. yes. Okay, so, so that is a fail. All right. And, um, it's just going to try and do it for the entirety of its turns because it's stupid. So it's going to try again. And again. Nope. I can't break free. Oh, I imagine it's just like flopping yeah, I'm, around. I'm pissed. I'm just choking the hell out of this thing. <laughs> Trying to break free to try and swing its lance. It can't do anything. Okay. Arash shock. It's your turn. Hmm. Well then. With all of that, I move up to it. Uh, for my first action and my second action, I bring my staff down upon its head for five bludgeoning damage. Excellent. Uh, there's that like Gandalf 
uh, smacks into the beam in Bilbo's house noise, where it's just that, like, heavy, fuck, you know, kind of, uh, sound. You shall know! You know, where he just, uh, no, whacks I know. his head I against know. the beam. But I'm ready yeah, yeah. something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it, Faye. I was trying to save you some is embarrassment. A, um, is that a crit with all the debuffs it has? Purpose. It wasn't embarrassing! <laughs> The Lord of the wrong Rings scene, is from J.R.R. Tolkien. It's on purpose, though. Don't Still give me wrong, wrong scene. scene. You're not making wow. fun of me. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Rashak, second action. Uh, was that first action a crit after its minuses? No. Damn. Nope. Close. All right. It was. Uh, it was close. It was very close. All right. Well, I'll just. For a 22 for four damage. How do you kill it? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm just, just like holding it. popping it on the head while he's holding uh -huh. it, just over and over and over, cracking it more and more, and probably it's dead at this point. And I'm just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm miming it. I literally have a. Ah! <laughs> I think Rock I lose rage in the middle of it. Cracks it, <laughs> and it just kind of crumples. That, falls to the ground. That is a very good stick. <laughs> it's magical! I see that. Mm, I would like to say, since I'm holding this thing and it's crumpled and it's a skull, I'm definitely going to hold on to this lance because I didn't want it poking me. Uh, at the same time, if I could look at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So, <sighs> on the skeletons, you find a few things. First and foremost, there is a lance... Chainmail. Uh, sorry, hold on. Let me just double check this. Um, so three suits of chainmail, one lance, two long swords, two steel shields, and one of them has a pretty nice looking crossbow. Ooh. Uh, what I'll do. If everyone lets me take the time to do it, uh, I can detect magic to see which ones are magical. I won't know what it does. I'll just know if it's magical or not. Because uh, specifically, yes, I can. Since I know the other things were magic, I can ignore the magic I've already detected and just kind of like. Okay. That's uh, it. You can just be like thumbs up, thumbs down. Is it magical? That's all I get. Give me a perception check on top of that. Very good. I will do so. A 13. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm going to say that uh, you can sort of root around here and find some things. Um, and there's going to be some stuff that goes unnoticed. Uh, okay. I, now, specifying, I wasn't looking around the room. I'm only looking at the things they grabbed. Mm -hmm. That is what I was doing. Sure, sure. Okay, just, just noting. I wasn't in the f mindset of looking around the room. Sure. So is anything magical? Um, <laughs> there is magic in the crossbow. Right. Uh, uh, those look fairly rudimentary, but this crossbow, uh, it is magic of some kind. There is a rune on it. And a rune that I don't know what it does without proper study. Did you I say Karun? No, I said this. Uh, th th this crossbow has a rune. No, I have a crossbow. It's on my wrist. Come closer. You sure? Yes. There's nothing else out there, right? There's no more skeletons. No, you you can come closer. All right, because I'm very afraid of them. It's a, a magic crossbow that has a rune on it. You can make a crafting check. Uh, either one of you, I guess. With oh, both good at crafting. We are, but I'll let you. Oh, no. I will use that hero point from earlier. How did you get... How? What? I don't know. You got a plus nine, don't you? 
Yes. yes. Know that to, to, to the healing yes. and everything else that Ross, Jock, and I do with our plus nines and plus eights. Oh, yeah. Yep. Wow. Uh, okay. Well, if, if if with assistance, maybe. Well, here's the here's the deal. Uh, Sixteen still would have been good enough. I was just teasing you oh. because I know you have a ridiculous crafting score. <laughs> so I saw that and I was like, damn, the game is <laughs> not giving you an inch. Um, this crossbow has a plus one striking rune on it. Ooh. And uh, you also find twenty bolts. Wow. Hey, so this rune means that it's really good at hitting stuff. Ah, very yeah. good. Does anybody want this? I believe Because if somebody needs to be it. good at hitting things, I wouldn't mind taking it. It's yours. Yes. I don't need it. That is for you. I will delicately remove this from the skeleton who's not letting go of it. Finally, I will take it. <sighs> Just Do you wish for group. me to carry the rest of the things in my bag? Unless one of you wishes to use any of it. If it is uh, possible. Very. I will, I will hand the, uh, I walk over to Arcelia and, uh, look down at the ground and, uh, present the lance and say this may prove useful to you since it seemed to be able to hit me from a distance. Um, I stow the morning star onto my hip, and I take it with both hands. And, and you, you wield it. No, <laughs> I offer it towards Arashta. Oh no, I'll take it back. <laughs> oh, oh, all uh, right. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll take mm. it back and uh, strap that to my back and walk off. Uh, oh, wait, <laughs> um, you do have quite the grip. Uh, your uh, yes, strength is uh, mm. unparalleled. Unfortunately, my form of fighting, I cannot wield things the way that you do. Mm. I require a bit more mobility. Well, maybe we can work on that in the future. Uh, who yeah. has the highest perception score? Probably me. Arcelia, I think, yeah. Yes, definitely Plus you. 11. Go ahead yes. and make yes. a perception yes. check for me, Arcelia. Okay. It's gonna be a okay. <gasps> Ooh, 28. 28. Jeez. Okay. Lord. Arcelia. Moons. Mm. Roll me 3d10. Oh, no. Do I want high or low on the. <laughs> kind of doesn't matter. Just roll. Yeah. I think okay. we'll find out. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. A 9, a 10, and a 4. All righty. Please be good. Okay. Um, looking around, you find a few things. You find three things. <laughs> um, you find a bag that looks similar to the one that Arashtok has. You find what appears to be an uh, another potion of some kind, a vial. It, mm. it looks empty, but you feel something sloshing around inside. <gasps> you find a a satchel of some kind. And when you look inside, you see Food, and it smells good. Hmm. I will hold up the satchel. Well, I think we might have found another bag of holding, perhaps. <gasps> um, no, that's very good. I will offer it to Yara. See if there's anything. Dylan. No, I definitely noticed your face when she said that. <laughs> it's such a cool uh, bag. Yes. yes. She uh, holds it, Karun. I'm like holding the bag in front of her face. What could we put in this bag to make it go away? All right, dear, don't give it to Karun. To go away? Um, I, I'm for just to hiding. I, I Karun, not meant. Um, while I have Sorry. your attention, uh, this vial, 
It is... It has a liquid in it, but it appears to be invisible. Perhaps you can investigate this. You make a crafting check, correct? Uh, yes. This is a potion of invisibility. I knew it. I knew it already. What? I have never seen this before. <laughs> it's a potion of invisibility. Oh. Ah! Ah! No. Ah! Ah! That was actually ah. a very good one. Well, does anybody want this? Well, I don't yeah. really need it. <sighs> I honestly believe that one of our um, less um, physical of our companions may need to use it. You can say it. weaker, it's all right. Okay, weak, weak. Oh, I wanted to say that the whole time. I'm so sorry, I got it out finally. Mm. I mean, if you need training, we could do some exercises in the morning and... <laughs> Work out together. Sure. I could deadlift you. All right. Um. I'm. I'm I've I'm, now I'm, turned bright red. <laughs> Here you go, Yara. Maybe as our healer, you should hold on to the potion. Uh, yes. Are you sure you do not want it, Rosh Tuck? No, you I should like take a it. Well, then you could hide it with the potion. I think. I'm oh just, no, uh, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna walk, I squeeze. <laughs> God, I don't want to be a part of that. And I'll give the satchel to Arashtak. Um, I just want to be think... clear. There is a satchel, and then there's a bag. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh. You had yeah, the satchel just... that had food in it, right? Yes. Yep. Uh, Does anybody have any kind of, like, leather jerkin, or, like, even a, sh a, sh a, sh a tube top, maybe? Just something... With, like, uh, the tiniest little bit of uh, protection by uh, any there chain? There was uh, this chain mail, but it is a little heavier. Oh, uh, no, it it's, won't work. It's medium armor. Uh, it's pretty hard to uh, make it dissolve with me into the darkness. Ah, uh, then no, unfortunately. All right. Uh, Yara, hmm. is there anything in that bag? Oh! A fair point. There's a little bit of dread in my eyes now. Um, I will go ahead and I will very carefully open up the bag that has been handed to me. And okay. I will... As you look inside, you see nothing inside except... I'll just roll initiative right now. Yeah, just, let's just it is get October. it out of the way. Yep. An endless sea <laughs> of eyes. I'm just kidding. There's nothing. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you were like good. an endless sea. I was, I was like, oh, I was we're intrigued. good. And then you said eyes. So I was like, wait a second. I really oh, wanted don't. to see this. Wait, we now have our, our uh, unlimited resource of throwing things. You guys seen my endless so sea of awesome. eyeballs? No, I haven't seen them today. <sighs> um, Did you confirm if this was a bag of holding or not, or what? Uh, it does appear to be some kind of bag of holding. I mean, you stick your hand in there, and it like does the Doctor Who thing, you know, where it's like the bag is too small mm -hmm. for your for your arm to fit in there. And I'll um, take uh, um one of the shields then, and I will place it inside ah. just to prove the point. Considering it would be nice to have a refresher for me anyway. All right. Um, I take one of the shields out and give it to you for that. Rash talk. Make, yes. Make an arcana check, please. You know, I'm going to reroll that one with the hero point. Okay. Is it a mimic? Please, no. 27. So the satchel that you were given. Yes. Is a satchel of endless rations. I had a feeling and I wished to know this. I look in. This satchel oh! always produces enough food and clean water to sustain five people for a day. Just One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> Suddenly uh, you're hungry. Mm. Our food issues and water issues are taken care of forever. Hmm? Uh, this produces food and water for the five of us every day. As I throw the carcass to the ground. 
I don't trust the bag food. I'm with the, that one. Does it make mm-hmm. the carcass back up? I take out whatever what meat. Carcass? <laughs> Which one? The the creatures the from bones? the first room? Yes. Oh god, you're oh. carrying that with you? <laughs> I was. Yes. I was down. I forgot to ask for preservation on it, so it's um maggot. I mean it's only nasty. been like an hour. Oh, okay, and, and then I'll pick Maybe. the corpse back yeah. up or carcass back up. <laughs> throw it on my good. shoulder proudly. And I'll I take it off. Probably whip something up for that if you wanted it, you know. And just hand it to flavor. Karun. There you go. Enjoy. I actually cut this one up very nicely. I get a little morsel. <laughs> I get a little yeah. treat. It's no, I'll just hand you what I cut from it. It I actually did a really good job with that one. Ooh. Finally. I didn't massacre it. So you can have the, ca- the carcass. I mean, I think just it give, in my mouth, testing you just it. eat the raw. I, I wouldn't the do raw creature. Okay. It, just to be clear, what this creature I don't think looks you've like. You've seen this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's um let's do this. I'm gonna just I'll show you what the the token looked like. Uh, mother of God. Uh, here it looked like this. Make it big. You know, maybe I will take my chances with the bag food. Maybe it couldn't be all that bad. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'll Why flop that thing to the ground and <laughs> I take a piece out of, of something from the satchel and just start munching on it. Not the, the creature, the actual ration satchel. <laughs> just to prove that I knew what I was talking about. This lance is a regular lance, correct? Yes. That I oh, knew. Then, yeah, I'll just, I'll just give that to someone with a bag of holding because it's bulky. Mm. It'll put me at my max. Not my max, but it'll... If I get one more thing, I'll be an encumbered. So I'll I just motion to Yara. Well, Yara, you can take it. Uh, oh, yes. Need I'll... that you have one. Yeah. Open it wide. Go ahead, slip it in. I slip it in. Very good. I close this bag. For our podcast listeners, everyone had a wry smirk on their faces during that exchange. Uh, hey. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Well, the crack in the wall you saw. Yes, I would like to squeeze into the crack. First. Okay. It's time, everybody. It's time. <gasps> okay, wait. Wait, oh, let me get it. Wait, wait. Wait, I want to click it. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I, I fucking come out. Heal me! <laughs> it's not lubricated. I have to put on no. the epic music. Oh, okay, okay. For the squeeze. The it's, a barbarian. It's, a, it's a It's a it's a it's a barbarian squeeze at that. Now like Barbarous hold squeeze. my tail, hug my tail, and just like now. You must be trained in acrobatics to properly squeeze. Oh, no. <clears throat> I would like to say that I am not. I am. What the fuck? Yes, I am. <laughs> I cannot squeeze. Push me. Uh yeah, I'll 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 start to go and I'll watch the city kinda like Silently move me away. <laughs> I'm just gonna like what? The? And allow her. You to guys can have this crevice. It's all yours. Oops, I'm over here. There you go. Arcelia I will wait that, back here. Arcelia does that thing that like people that are really good with their diaphragm, you know, that they can sort of roll their, oh, like Shakira? their stomachs. Yeah. And you sort of like suck it, suck in like compress, compress their bones uh, to move through. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, make a, an, an acrobatics check here, Arcelia. Most important role of the entire campaign. Oh, okay, dear. well, I'm going to use my hero point. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was a good roll. Don't get a negative. Oh, fuck. 13. Okay. Oh, she's 13. trying to impress us. I know. Arcelia. Everyone's watching. You get right there. And... Uh, uh-oh. Yeah. It's the titties. <clears throat> it's definitely the Your titties. Massive mommy milkers. Have, oh no. They uh, have foiled me again. I'm stunned, so my training goes negative one. I'm just like I No need to go forward. We could just stay here for a while and I need to hear. <laughs> uh Arcelia, you're you're kinda of stuck. Oh. Uh, do you need help? Yes. 
How can we help? Can I? Do we push or can you? Can you make some kind of lubrication? Can I get a sense of? Okay, like yeah, I can see the map, but can I get a sense of like? Mm, would yeah. pushing be a bad idea? Probably, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have a <clears throat> alchemist. Maybe. You want, are you suggesting to me that I will lubricate the green one? Yes, I have an sack. idea. Pull me out. Pull you me have out. A sack. Oh, okay. I'll uh, grab. Athletics check. What am I? Are you extending your arm or what? Grab whatever you can. Man. Twelve. I grabbed whatever I could. <laughs> I think she's already lubricated. Weren't really <laughs> expecting him to grab that. Uh... Oh, well, I. Oh. I expected it to be hard. It's fine. And, uh, Just keep pulling. Am I stuck um, still? Uh, yeah, I need another athletics check. Okay. I okay. grabbed the right thing this time. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> and yeah, you pull uh, Arcelia out. All right. Here's the plan. And I'll begin to strip and take off like all my gear. And I look to Karun. <laughs> Oil me. Do you want. Do you want me to see if I could just... Am I small enough to fit in the crevice? Uh... Karun? No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> you are not! What are you crazy?! <laughs> uh, definitely not! Wait a moment, two, three! You're not athletic, I've seen you! <laughs> <laughs> just let her, just let her do her thing, okay?! You guys are sending the largest of all of you through the crevice, and Make the you me? To try. Karun, Karun, why don't you try? I would like to assist Karun making this <laughs> goo. Uh, I said, um, by the way, so, so Karun so can Karun, get her to go. Yeah, Karun, uh, make a perception check. Okay. Uh, yeah, you could probably fit through. All right. I blocked the uh, way. So, I don't, you can leave those clothes on. That's fine. You cover mm. yourself up in, uh, all the way. I'm good. I can squeeze right through there. All right. We'll just call out if there's any trouble and I get dressed again. I would like to PvP. <laughs> <laughs> I will block Even the way. Even if there is trouble, uh, they will never see Karun coming. Is it, is it obvious you're blocking the way, Malavik? It's very obvious I'm blocking uh, the way. Get out of the way! No. Malavik. Yeah, I need you to move just you, over. Why? Just oh, to the side a little bit. I just couldn't try to squeeze through the legs, maybe. <sighs> the, no. The, <laughs> but there is literally a bug right next to us. I, uh, yeah, I uh, defeatedly will move out of the way. Like the darkness, Karun is forth into the cave. Karun, you begin to uh, move through the uh, crack. Uh, make an acrobatics check for me, please. I am not trained in this. I am only oh, here because okay. I am tiny I enough don't to fit through the crack. Yeah, you can, you can, um, you can make it through. Uh, I was just gonna give you some cool bonus stuff, but that's fine. You don't get it. No, I'll um, try it. No, no, it's fine. Um, <laughs> right. uh, I am the knight. You, uh, yeah, you make it through. On the other side. You can see mushrooms and fungi of every shape and size. Uh, there's a riot of color here, and they soak up the light that is coming through. Um, there's like a uh, crack in the wall that is um, uh, leads up to the ceiling that brings down like a beam of light here, and they are just um, reveling in that these mushrooms and um there is a uh a glowing shield shaped panel on the western wall um mm. that is also emitting this light a one <laughs> foot deep stream curves through the room merging through cracks in the stone and disappearing again in the same fashion uh, from this light, can I tell if uh, if there's if this room connects to the last room through the other larger corridor? It does. You can. You can kind of get that impression from the far cave wall that it leads back around. Can I notice any traps or uh, runes here that could be dangerous? 
Uh, make a, another perception check. I can barely see myself because I am the knife. Oh God. Uh, nothing seems to jump out at you, literally or figuratively. All right, I skitter back through the, the crevice and I emerge victorious. <laughs> it is I, Karun. I am back, I've returned. Did you what? find anything? Yes. There are mushrooms and lights and a shield on the wall that's also got lights. And I think it connects with that big corridor over there, so I'm pretty sure it goes to the same place. Oh. Uh, mushrooms. And I didn't see Did a single see what trap. Kind? What kind of mushroom? Yes. Well, would I have known the kind of mushroom? You can make a nature check for me. I know exactly what kind of mushroom that was. Um, you've seen Probably. a lot of these moving through the jungle. Um, I don't know enough about mushrooms myself to tell you what kind there are, but there are some that are edible. There are some that are poisonous. There are some that um, even they're really it, fun. Yeah, there might be some psychedelic ones there, and there might be some that you have no idea what they are. Uh, okay. Even with a twenty-five. To be fair, this is a an alien planet. Mm-hmm. There are, look, there are tons of mushrooms over there, and some of them might be really fun, uh, but we won't know until we go sample one. Uh, the, the, the shield, uh, what, what, what did that look like? The fact that it's on the other side behind a semi-hidden passage makes me think it has significance. I think it probably opens a door of some kind, I'm not sure, but also there's a little creek. No. Mm. Uh, that seems... All of that seems significant. It seems idyllic. Like, perfect for habitation. Uh, maybe, or maybe it's doing... Did you uh, happen to see any heraldry or symbols on the shield itself? Could I <laughs> sketch the symbol that I saw on the shield for, uh, for the orc? Uh, you can, but this is based off your 11 perception check, so mm. it's not too great. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the 19 from the beginning that she yeah. saw the shield. No, no, the 19 was from the, um, the fact that Karun could squeeze through the passage. Uh, the 19... Oh, yeah, to see oh. if Karun could fit. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, right Don't yes, worry, yes, yes. I will draw it on your back, and I just pretend to draw the thing I saw on her back, and I'm like, that's how it feels when you look at it. Um, I offer my journal. Could you draw it? Um, ooh. Uh, I could try, and I just scribble what I saw as close as I could. I try to analyze it. Uh... <laughs> Make a, an esoteric lore roll, I guess. It's <laughs> very esoteric. Borderline impossible. Yeah, not a fucking clue. This is <laughs> yeah. I've never recognized something like this before. I've never been more sure in my life. That's exactly what I saw. Mm. Uh, should one of the others of us try to see over there? Did Karun not say uh, everything was interconnected? Perhaps we just... Yes, but that's my worry. There have been traps everywhere. That's the obvious path. This one is not. Uh, maybe I that turns something... I didn't see any traps when I went no, through. No, but you saw a shield. Mm. And you didn't check the other side. No. That's the side I'm worried about, not the one you went in. Well... We can't all fit through the crack anyway, so... Do you want me to go through again and meet you on the other side? And we can look for traps in both directions? I, the shield, I, that's the thing I think of. It might, maybe you could deactivate something with it. All right, well, maybe uh, you could walk me through it. I'll just talk at you through the crevice and we can work it out together, yes? I'm... Maybe I might be able to fit in. I am live and a bit smaller than Arcelia. All right. 
Then, <laughs> as as the night is dark, so too is the shadow of Kryun, and I slip through once more into the breach. Uh, I'll try to see if... Uh, I might need to get pulled out. We'll see if I get stuck. Okay. I am trained in athletics. It's an acrobatics. Acrobatics. Or acrobatics. I am trained in acrobatics. Okay. Will it do well? Let's find out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. An 18. Yeah, you uh, you can sort of compress yourself uh, and slither your way through. I, I am very slithery. That is my thing. Can I examine this shield again uh, with um, for any kind of uh, mechanical aspect to it? You can absolutely as... get closer and take a look. Yes, I'm doing the same, because I am very curious. I will wait for the lizard to tell me if you see any tra- Do you see any traps here? What, what, yeah, should I, ma- I, should I make, make a perception? perception? No, I wanted to check. I didn't want to double up if it wasn't a thing. 25! <laughs> um, so... I don't see any traps, Arashak. However, there are two mushrooms. Amongst the field of mushrooms there, that you may have noticed blinked. Ah, be quiet, Karun. There is indeed. Mm, can I make a nature check for that? I, sure. I know what it is as a person, but I don't know if Rostock does. Sure. A critical success. <laughs> you know this thing's name. You're almost positive that those are fungus leshies. Oh, with that, are they hostile? Depends on the leshy. That's why I was with wondering. With a 27, you would know that they probably would love, like, a decomposing body. Do they speak Sylvan? Um. Would, would uh, the Lushy I know speak? I don't know about this planet, but. Um. Let's see. You did get a crit. That's the only reason I was asking that specifically. Um. I think it kind of depends. Most of the time, you would say yes? Yeah. yeah. All right. Karun, there yes. are leshies here. I yes. think I can speak with them, and I know what they might want to eat. What Namely do they that, eat? That corpse we brought in. I still have a little chunk on me, if you... Well, it, it, it might want the whole one, and it may leave us alone. Well, maybe we give it the chunk and see if it likes it. I'll ask them. They should. They are intelligent creatures. In Sylvan, right. I try to keep it basic due to the potential differentiation of the Sylvan on this planet versus what we're used to. <laughs> Hello, friends. I have food if you are hungry. Please make a diplomacy check. Yep. I cast guidance on myself real quick. <laughs> it's so crazy. <laughs> only... He's always the one who has. I him. hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> Everyone else is. I don't like want to decent. talk. <laughs> I you didn't. Keep, I'm not to talk. You keep putting yourselves in these situations. It's the you only. Have, I'm the only you one. Have two diplomats with you, and but they you, don't speak Sylvan. <laughs> Listen, I can get really far with my sparkling personality, but I also have a flute. And oh I yes, the dead people. They're not dead. They're very alive. <laughs> All right. Uh, that would be a ten. Just nice and average like all I roll today when it fucking counts! <laughs> um 
Orash Tack, you see the mushrooms sort of like shake and like some pollen falls down and you hear and Sylvan. I would just like to clarify something. In this entire time with the squeezing and everything, I would be working on my wounds at the moment. Just to clarify, just in case you you needed to know this. Very good. Uh, I look to, I, I look to Karun, hand me the piece. Here you go. And I hold it up. Food. <sighs> Want? Want? The leshies begin to rush towards you. I toss it. <laughs> like.